there is a new kid in town. There is a new certificate on the streets, and it is the Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist, or CPTS. Let's chat about it. So CPTS, or the Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist, is an entry-level course available on Hack the Box Academy aimed and designed towards entry-level students, those that want to jump into a career as a penetration tester, those that want to get into the industry and work and operate as an intermediate-level penetration tester. Now, this course is jam-packed. It has 28 modules, almost 30, and that's insane to me, 28 modules, where you're diving into all the cool stuff. First, you kind of follow through the traditional, hey, cyber attack kill chain or the life cycle of a penetration tester where you're looking for that initial access vector. You might be starting off looking at the public attack surface like in external websites or public facing sites and you could try some web-based attacks. So this can start small, right? You might be doing login brute forcing to get into the admin portal of a website or service. You might be firing off things that could trigger a command injection vulnerability in a weak misconfiguration configured service, or you might be digging into SQL injection, right? Beating up a database, trying to leak data where you have the server mistake it as code, or you could do cross-site scripting with HTML injection and JavaScript injection to trigger client-side code where you might be able to social engineer a victim all a part of this pen test. You'll be doing all of that and more in CPTS. And even just to name a few, right? File inclusion, local file inclusion, remote file inclusion, file upload vulnerabilities when there's a weakness in the software itself. And eventually, once you land that initial access, you then operate on the target, enumerate, do your reconnaissance, but then you want to escalate privileges. You wanna take that low privilege user that you landed as and escalate your privileges to become root on Linux or the administrator or NT authority system on Windows. And you'll learn how to do all of that in CPTS, targeting both Linux and Windows targets. And speaking of Windows, getting into that Windows realm, you're gonna learn all about Active Directory. Now, it's become obvious now, it's readily apparent that, hey, to be a penetration tester in today's day and age, you need to know your way in and out of an Active Directory environment. You need to know how to hack in Active Directory. So that means you gotta know your domain controller, you gotta know your uh, organizational units and forests and domain trusts and all that jazz. But ultimately, you need to know how to pen test an AD environment. So you'll learn all about, hey, whether it's simple access controls or weak ACL configuration, Configurations. You'll be password spraying, hey, firing off crack map exec, maybe getting a lay of the land and understanding the environment with Bloodhound, and then Kerber roasting and ASREP roasting and performing DC sync attacks and the golden ticket, all that sweet stuff and more within the Active Directory modules of CPTS. And the job's not all about the leet, sexy, hey, on the keyboard, Hollywood hacker stuff, right? You do have to be writing a report as a penetration tester. And with that, there are informational modules in CPTS that go over the methodology, your process, the rules of engagement, the scope, everything that you need to know, and how you can deliver a professional business class report for customers and clients in the real world. Now, let me say, 28 modules? That's a lot. It's a lot of information. And that's why it's awesome for one thing, because you get access to so much new knowledge and education, but there is a lot to go through. How long is it gonna take you to complete this CPTS course? Hack the Box estimates it takes 41 days. Now here's the thing, does it actually take 41 days? Well, look, it varies, right? That's super subjective and it totally depends on how much you can put time into it. If you've got other obligations, you've got responsibilities, you've got school, you've got other things that you're doing, it can be hard to find time and cram into studying for CPTS. Maybe you crank this thing out in 20 days, 30 days. I don't know. It could take you as long as 50. It doesn't matter really. It's just letting you gauge and benchmark where can you put in the time to get the most out of this learning. There is one thing to note here though. There is an exam, of course, right? Hey, there is an exam. There's an active hands-on environment where you get to test your skills, prove your competency, demonstrate your merit, and earn the credential of a Hack the Box certified penetration testing specialist. But in order to gain access to the exam, you have to complete 
all 28 modules. Every single one, through and through, you have to complete every single task required of it. And that can be a lot. It can take a long time. And that is why I think there's that disclaimer, hey, 41 days is a rough estimate, but you've got to be able to pour in the time that you need. And it, I think it honestly, hey, might be a little bit of a asterisk, a star, might be a sticking point. Some folks might not be too happy about it. I think it is a little bit of a bummer and that you have to complete literally everything to get hands on with the exam. But hey, that's the nature of the beast. And I think it's still great to learn as much as you can. With that said, the modules and module sections within CPTS are text heavy. It is a lot of text, is a lot of reading. And I know, hey, maybe that's not everyone's learning style. Maybe that's just not how you retain information. Maybe you like to watch videos, see a demo. Maybe you like to get hands-on, go do a little exercise, go do something after the fact. You just have to be aware of the fact that it is a lot of reading. The sections are very comprehensive though, with all that text, right? Obviously everything is explained in super good fine grain detail. All the concepts are expressed and really made understandable, digestible for you. And there are skill assessments that can let you validate and test your learning and prove that you understand what you just read. You do have to complete every single skill assessment to be able to complete the module, which again, every single module is necessary to be completed before you take the exam. So the time stacks up, but it is a worthy investment. All of these modules and sections are in the penetration tester job role path within Hack the Box Academy. That is the prerequisite. That is what is necessary to dive into CPTS. And once you've completed all the modules, you can purchase an exam voucher and dive into the exam. The exam is an external penetration test with a large Active Directory network. You need 85 points to pass, and you can collect points by capturing user flags once you've gained initial access, or or root flags or admin, hey, once you fully compromise and escalated your privileges on the target. Now, as it is a hands-on exam, it's practical, it's application-based, you might be wondering, how much time do I have to complete this thing? To get 85 points and then to prepare, write, craft, and submit a professional report. The report is necessary. The report is required for you to prove and demonstrate that you can do everything that's required of you. So get this, you have 10 days, 10 days to complete the exam environment, prepare and submit your report. 10 days to include both the exam hands-on portion and your report. But consider this, that is significantly more than I think what we tend to see in other industry training certifying body exam scenarios, right? I think there are some exams out there that might give you five days, maybe, I don't know, three days, 24 hours. And that is not a lot of time when you need to sleep and eat and, you know, human necessity stuff like shower and do the laundry. So personally, I think 10 days is super duper generous and I think that's fantastic. Now, I have not taken the exam yet. I, I haven't just yet, personally. I've spoken with a couple of others who have and they said, hey, maybe the, the hands-on portion took them maybe five days, they didn't need the whole 10, but you can use that time as you need to to do the rest of your life stuff and not get too anxious and nervous and freaking out about this deadline and time crunch. That is super generous. Thumbs up from me, I think 10 days is awesome. And one point here, I think it's a little bit important to mention because I do hear folks ask this question uh, and, and other conversations of other training and certifications, will the course material prepare me enough to pass the exam? Yes, yes, everything that you see in the exam is going to come from something that you learned within the course, within the modules and sections and the pen test or job role path. It will give you everything that you need. Everything that you will see in the exam environment comes from the course, and that is everything you need. You don't need to do any extra, extracurricular, oh, other locations and practice, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you get everything you need with the material itself presented to you, if not by the fact that it is 28 modules of tons of great learning. So hey, if you don't mind, I'd like to get into a little bit of advice, if I may, hey, just for folks going through the Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist course and curriculum and all the material presented in that pen test or job role path. And honestly, this is the sort of same advice I might give to anyone going through any training or going after any certification or an exam environment that they're going up against. This is kind of just, I think, best practices. While you're going through the material, take super detailed notes. And I mean that 
literally to the sense of like stage and prepare all of the commands that you run from the command line within your terminal and just get them in a place so that you can readily like copy and paste uh, the next time you're doing this for realsies, whether it's in the exam environment or when you're going through some other section or module or skills assessment, like literally all you need to do is maybe uh, copy and maybe paste, change the IP address, change the port number, make this as easy on you as you possibly can. So you don't need to be fumbling around trying to remember like, oh, what was that parameter or what was that flag or switch or argument? And how did the syntax and structure go here? You don't need to do that. You don't need to waste your time. You don't need to Google. Just prepare ahead of time and you can literally copy and paste. Additionally, join the Hack the Box Discord. Like seriously, hey, go interact with other students that are going through this course material. Maybe they've ran into an issue and you might be able to ask them for some help. Or hey, you could have some of your questions answered. You can learn something new, see new tools, see new techniques and different tricks up your sleeve. Networking, even virtually, like through Discord, is absolutely invaluable. And it's one of the best ways to learn. So go be with other folks and learn from everyone around you. Join the Hack the Box Discord. Okay. Now to address, I think, the obvious elephant in the room, when folks kind of ask the question, hey, how does CPTS compare against other certifications in the industry? There are obviously a whole lot of other options in the market. There are other certifications that exist. And you might be asking the question, where do I start? Which is better? Should I do one or the other? Am I going to learn more or less in one cert or training of the other? Like, how do these stack up? So obviously, hey, whichever you tackle first is totally a decision that you get to make. This is super subjective and really hard to answer. But if we approach it from sort of a tactical level, hey, first, let's get into pricing. I think that's important. Look, if you're a student, it is seven euros a month to have access to all of the modules that are present and needed within that penetration tester job role path. That is access to the training material for CPTS. And the exam itself, the exam voucher is 180 euros. If you're not a student, the pen tester job path takes about 2,000 cubes, or 1,970 cubes to be exact, but cubes are the sort of special custom currency that the Hack the Box Academy operates on. This gets a little bit confusing, at least to me, honestly, maybe because I'm just dumb, uh, but real dollars, like actual financial money, translates to cubes. But cubes within Hack the Box Academy do not expire. You can purchase them at any time and then make use of the cubes whenever you want. If you purchase the platinum option to gain access to the Hack the Box Academy at 58 euros a month, that will grant you a thousand cubes on first purchase. With that said, adding all these things up, the math comes out to about 300 euros, and that translates to, I think, about 315 US dollars. Now, needless to say, I think that is significantly more affordable than some other options out on the market. You can see some industry training and certificates that will cost upwards of $1,000, if not $2,000. So hey, if we're rocking just 300 or so, I am cool with that. And once you go through the CPTS material, everything that's included within the Hack the Box Academy and that pen tester job role path, you have access to that material forever, like always. It, it is still going to be accessible for you within Hack the Box Academy. Within CPTS though, you do not have a dedicated lab environment, so to speak, right? You do of course have all of the skills assessments and everything that's kind of an interactive task and exercise within modules, and you've got the entire cyber range of Hack the Box, really, if you want it. So you don't have a something that you VPN into or whatever. In fact, honestly, you get to do everything through the Hack the Box, uh, uh, the Academy's Pwn Box, or they're in the browser attacker machine that you have decked out with Parrot and all those pen tester tools. So you still have access to something to be able to play in, but it's not, oh, a, a lab environment strictly or so to speak. So at the end of the day here, look, I, I gotta be honest, I am loving what Hack the Box CPTS is and what it's all about. Cruising through the modules, hey, I think the sections are top notch. They get into some really great stuff. You learn a ton. And I'm digging into stuff that honestly, I, I, hey, I'm not too familiar with. I haven't done like some sweet as rep roasting other than some other maybe one off things I've been able to play with in other potential learning environments. But it's all great material. It's all great learning. And I would truthfully, hey, encourage anyone that's interested to pick it up. I think the price tag is totally 
incredibly reasonable, extremely affordable in most cases, I think. And there are so many resources available to you, whether it is in the modules themselves or the Discord or people and friends and resources online. And Hey, another great kind of example of this, uh, Jake, another content creator, or finding your password on YouTube and online on Twitterverse and all, he's been putting together a really, really sweet uh, hack the box CPTS guide on Notion. So I'll try and get the link and showcase that in the description. If it's helpful for you or anyone either interested in this thing or already partly action, cruising through some stuff and prepping for the exam. And hey, I mentioned I haven't taken the exam yet. To be completely honest with you, I, I'm hoping to try and see what I can get into this weekend. But uh, with that, I want to hopefully make this a to do and maybe a cliffhanger for the next video continuation, sequel, etc. to be continued. Because hey, I would love to chat a little bit more about hack the box CPTS, maybe get some of the folks that helped build this course and put all the stuff together in an interview just to give you I don't know some of their insights and uh, whatever I can offer through my experience of going through the exam. I don't know if it's going to take me all 10 days, but I am grateful to have all that much time. So uh, uh, we'll tune back in. Hopefully, uh, if I can get past this thing, if I can, if I can pass and earn my CPTS. But if anything, I would challenge you, and I would encourage you to go take a look, go check it out, see if it's something that you're interested in, and go earn your CPTS, the Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist, available right now on Hack the Box Academy.